Hello, welcome to Camaro Mods channel. I'm your host Roger. In this program we're going to start working on the the Oracle afterburner lights. Finally going to get started on that project. And while we're working on that we're also going to put in the light covers. And also we're going to put in the we're going to black out the tail lights. So that'll look pretty good when we get done. So let's go out to the car and get started. Okay, the first thing we need to do is take off this panel here. And you got three retainer clips here we need to pull out. Just get up under this top part right here. Pull this piece out. Go ahead and unhook the tail lights. Pull the bulbs out. Now we got three 10 millimeter bolts on each light. Take them out. You'll need a 10 millimeter socket on that top one in the back back there because it's going to be too hard to reach. Okay, we got all the bolts out. Now we got to take all these chrome pieces around the tail lights here Pop out the tail lights. Okay, we're ready to cut this open now. Get you a Dremel tool. This is a Dremel 3000. Get you a cut off wheel. And on the on the first pass, you just need to score it. We don't want to try to cut through it the first pass. So that's what we'll do now.
make sure you wear safety glasses that that little cutoff wheel just exploded so we'll have to put another one on there Okay, we'll see if we get this open. Okay, now we'll take a Dremel tool and we'll get it cleaned up. Okay, we got these all cleaned up with the Dremel tool around the edges, around the lenses, and now the next thing we need to do is uh, get some Windex and clean off the clear part and the lenses. What we want to do is take off all the fingerprints that's left on there. And on the inside of this cover. Once these are sealed back up, you're not gonna be able to get back into back in there to it. If you've seen some of my other videos, I finally got the right set in. The set that I got in was more more square shape on the bottom. Anyway, these are gonna work. Fit in there like that. I'll have to go in here and drill a hole up in here to run the wires through. What you do is unclip this little connector here. Somehow. Okay, we'll check that again. Looks right up through that. Right up through here. You need to get you a drill bit where this fitting will fit through there looks like that'll be pretty close give it a shot and see clean up the mess again run your wires through give it one last cleaning Center where you want to put it. Press it down. And we'll go around and We'll put silicone in each one of these holes. Seal them back off. Now we 
I'll take this RTB silicone sealant. It's an adhesive and a sealant. So we'll go around this, get your nice bead going. Lay the lens back on it. smooth it around make sure you got it covered good and we'll put some masking tape on it Now we'll go in and seal the hole here where the wires come through. And this one's done. Let that set for 24 hours or more. Let that sealer sealant set up. And we'll be ready to install them again. Now we'll start on this one. Okay, got all the LEDs put in. Got them all sealed back up, taped up. They need to dry overnight. This is the Oracle lighting Premier LED set. I've seen some of these kits on eBay for $49.95. I've seen them as low as $41.95. By all means, don't go through all this trouble putting all this in, and your LEDs will start to go out. I've even seen pictures of it. And the, the seller that's selling them will delete the pictures and start all over again. So whatever you do, don't buy the cheap kit. Get the, get the premium LED from Oracle. So that's my two cents.